Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I got a lot of fun seasonal finds and some other items I wanted to share with you. Just pulling it over. First thing I found is this vinyl. Um, it is for your cutting machine. So I got the primary colors and then I got some others. But so for right now, I've got the red, the blue, the green, the yellow. I also got the black glittery and I got gold. I will tell you, I tried using this with my Cricut and it was a no-go. The paint, the backing stuck to my cutting mat. It's super thin. So when I was trying to weed it, it's called, um, I ended up getting, tearing it. It wasn't fun. But I will tell you that I did use this for a couple DIYs. So if you're gonna use it, I would say more like a shelf liner to like back a piece of paper or a frame or a canvas or something. I think that will be fabulous, but I wouldn't try it. And that's my mileage, yours may be different. It was not a good scene in my Cricut, just as a heads up. So I did find those, which I mean, it's a dollar. I will show you. It doesn't have the grid back like a Cricut paper does. And it's really thin and this paper here stuck. That's what stuck. So when I went to pull it off of my cutting mat, the backing came off and that's not good. Just saying. Anyway, so not great, but okay for other things. I found these signs, the Halloween with the haunted house and the bat. And I'm pretty sure there was a ghost in here somewhere. I don't know. I love the filigree cut. And then I found the one that says Happy Halloween. I should probably do it the right way. Yeah. Happy Halloween. I love, I love the design. And I think on this one, I'm going to paint the Happy Halloween orange and do some purple and black. And then put this on my mantle when I decorate. But I love them both. I know, folks. Um, let's do our thumbnail, shall we? I know folks are using these for t-shirts and they're using the spray bleach. I don't have a plan to do that, but I think this is what they're using. Some of what they're using. I was so excited to find this sign. I love it. I love it. Homemade hot apple cider served here. I don't know why we have to have glitter on everything, but we do. Um, this will probably go outside Maybe I'll add it to my front porch. I don't know. Or in the basket with the pumpkins when I get my pumpkins. But I loved this sign. I love it. This is raised. So you could really take that off, paint whatever you want. But I like this. I don't think I need to do anything to it. Maybe frame it would be fun. But, you know, these signs are not straight. There's a, a bow to them. And so framing would be a challenge. But I love this sign. And I was so happy to have found it. Um, I found one of these. I, I very rarely see these at my stores. And I grabbed it actually for Sarah, my niece. But it is a spice rack, which you could use for your spices. I have something similar. But I got it for her to do her with her acrylic paints. You know, she can put her paints on these and then you can see what colors you have. And if this isn't flat, you could lay a piece of like foam board or something. But I liked the multi-level and this will fit right if you had like a cubed, uh, one of the Ikea cubes or the cubed boxes. You could put one of those in there and utilize it for craft supplies. So you can see them. I'm always looking for um, supplies. I did. I got this before and I forgot to show it to you. My stores this year got the pet costumes and this is one of them. It's a bat. This is nice and firm. I don't know if I showed this to you or not, but it is um, felt. And look at these. They're adjustable. I put them on Alex and he hates them. That's okay. It was funny. Um, but he's a black cat and my niece had called him toothless. So these are great. I'm going to maybe practice with them wearing them, maybe. I only got one set. Wellington, who's sleeping right here, he wants no part of any of this. And he's my old man. I'm not going to torture him. Alex, he might get a little tortured. I mean, he 
he's dramatic. Let's just say that. Um, so yeah, they had some cute co some costumes. The other costumes that they had were like shirts. You had, they had to put the shirt on and I wasn't gonna do that for the cats. This what I liked was that um, it's just elastic and his little, you know, I just put their little arms through and it sits on their back. It is not a big deal. He, he's a spoiled baby. All right, I grabbed one of these. I don't remember if they had these containers for Thanksgiving last year. I know they had them out at Christmas. I buy them because they are great to store cookies and stuff in. But I thought for Thanksgiving, um, like when I have Thanksgiving, sometimes my brother who doesn't really cook came over. I could send him home with a fair amount of Thanksgiving leftovers in here and then he could just heat it up and put this right in his refrigerator. I thought that was a fantastic idea. So if you're having like um, grandparents over or your parents don't cook and you wanna send them home with a meal or you just wanna deliver a meal to somebody on Thanksgiving because they don't have anybody, this holds a fair amount. You could do like dividers in here or anything like that, but it is it is airtight and I like to that. Now at Christmas time, what I do with these containers is I bake different flavors of cookies. I fill these up and put them in my freezer and then I make cookie trays. So it may take me two weeks to bake all my Christmas cookies, but then I, go, I have them all baked and ready except for the frosted ones in a container like this in my freezer and then I can open them up and sort into baskets and tubs for everybody. So they're great for that as well. They're nice quality and they're pretty heavy. But I thought for it would be awesome, especially if I knew somebody that like wasn't having Thanksgiving or because of COVID can't have Thanksgiving, I would totally deliver somebody some meals in that. It is food safe, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's not recommended for microwave or dishwasher, but refrigerator's fine. So I grabbed that. Now, I have no need for this in my life other than it's cats. Um, I wanted to see, I love these cross body bags. I have one myself. Let me see how long it is as an adult. Um, it's a little short on me, but it's not saying it's bad, but this is a pretty darn good quality cross body bag. And it's water resistant. I'm gonna give it to probably the little girls down the street from me. Cause she's a, the little one I think will appreciate this. But yeah, it's just a little cross body bag. They had all different ones. It's definitely water resistant material and it would hoard a fair amount. Just has the one zipper po pocket, but that's okay. And they had other patterns too. And in the same vein as that, I'm sorry. They have backpacks at the Dollar Tree. Now here's the deal. Is this the best quality? No. Am I gonna pack school books in here? No. However, it does have a little front pouch. It has an inside pouch. They came in black, blue, and purple. But I will tell you, when my nieces were little and we would travel with them, fairly amount, I would always get them a bag for the car and fill it with junk, basically snacks, games, pens, pencils, markers, notebooks, things that they would like at the age that they were at that they had never seen before. So it was all new stuff to them and they would have hours of entertainment. So if you're having any traveling in the car, if you've got grandkids coming over, you could fill one of these up. Um, you could donate one to the church. You could make homeless bags or blessing bags out of these and give them to folks full of anything and everything. I mean, they're not terrible quality. I mean, I don't, you know, they do have adjustable straps. I don't know how long they would last, but they're fantastic. You could even like personalize them or let the kids personalize them or whatever. I mean, these are a decent sized book bag too for little folks. This would be perfect for an airplane or a car ride, especially for a young person. Or, you know, even a teen. You could fill it up with teenager goodies and it keeps them occupied in the car like a ton of batteries or, you know, charging cables or whatever. So I grab that because I think it's fantastic 
and I will tell you those bags when I traveled with my nieces this was all pre cell phone and all of that kept them entertained a long long time um, this is all for me it is a trick-or-treat bag I'm sure I know it is but I'm probably <laughs> I'm just probably gonna stuff it with newspaper or something and cinch it and sit it out for Halloween um, because it's a black cat, guys. It is a trick-or-treat bag, I know that. And it's a nice trick-or-treat bucket style bag. The bottom is flat, it would hold a fair amount. They're calling it a candy bucket. And I will tell you, they had them, I know they had them in this, I think a ghost and a pumpkin. I love this and yeah. I could store the cat toys in it too during the holidays or for decoration just put their cat basket like slip it down <laughs> slip it down in there but it's black cat so I had to have it right right I am this this haul guys is all over the place just so you'll know um I did get this for Halloween I'm gonna stick it in my tear tray or on my mantle I just love the simplicity of it and look it looks like the door's cracked open and it is a tea light holder. Um, I will probably get an electric tea light for back here and not light it every night, but oh, there's a glare. I'm sorry, I've got my ring light up because it's getting late. But yeah, I thought these were great, just metal. You know, I don't know that I would really leave anything real burning on it, but I would certainly set this up someplace or on my shelf over my chair, that would be cute. And for Halloween, a little decor. I don't have a lot of Halloween decorations. I think that's why I have been buying more. Um, I just grabbed these for the cat. I'm not sure if he likes backyard cookout. Chicken, liver, and beef. I don't know, but he can try it. Right now, he's obsessed with the purple bucket, which is the dairy flavored, and he loves the catnip flavored. But we'll try the beef, too. Nothing exciting there. Um, I got this with bamboo charcoal let's spa two purifying charcoal infused bath cloths so they're like wash cloths infused with charcoal but they're like loofah and feel so yeah i love using these on dry skin in the shower it helps kind of sloth off the flaky dry skin and you get two in this pack i can open it since they're gonna be for me i'm not maybe I'm not giving these away. Ugh. Sorry. I know my dentist would yell at me. Um, yeah. It, it says you get two, but I don't have two. Two, oh, uh, let's spa. Oh, number two, purify, maybe. That's what it was saying. I don't know, it's one, but it's a decent sized cloth. And there's definitely some exfoliation factor to it. So I probably wouldn't use it on my face for myself, but I would use it on my body. Are there two here? I cannot tell. It says, I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm obsessed with this, but yeah, and it's got a little stretch to it. We'll use it in the shower. I think it'll lather up nicely and you know, it's for my for me. I use a loofah in the shower, so I thought this would be interesting. Although I don't like the texture; it's sticking to my fingers. Um, I got some of these Lumines fragrance oil. This one is Harvest Cider, and I stuck them in my diffuser that does with water, and it was okay, but it left a terrible mess behind. So I'm not gonna do that again. Like I had to scrub my diffuser. I've never had to do that with essential oils, but it left, it stained it and it left a terrible mess. I mean, it smells nice. Maybe pouring it on some potpourri would be a better, a better idea. But I got that flavor and I got a winter scent, which was nice that they came out with those. It's just, it made a mess. So that was a no-go. Oh, look what I found. The coffee cup with the gnomes. I love these cups. They don't keep my coffee super hot, but they're fun to have. And typically what I will do is use it during the holiday, you know, during the season. So for Halloween, I'll use this and Thanksgiving, and then I'll switch over to a Christmas one. And then typically they end up in the trash 
or when I work at the football games, I can pack these and if they get lost, like if I take my coffee in this and it gets lost or damaged or something, I don't really care, it was a dollar. Um, so that's probably what I'll do in the winter time. They have all different ones and this is the little fall gnomes that they came out with. And they had the black and white buffalo check. They had one with like teal pumpkins all over it. And the, I think they had four designs this year. So that was pretty cool. And like I said, they don't keep my coffee super hot. Um, but they do hold a fair amount, which is always nice. And when I'm working at the football games, I, we're allowed to keep a hot beverage with us when we're walking around. Because it's cold in the fall. The winter. Ooh, I found Welch's Passion Fruit delicious delicious now i'm sad i didn't get more but i don't need more so it's really not a big deal but it's really good it honestly doesn't taste anything like a passion fruit but it's delicious it's good to me passion fruit is more tart this is very sweet but it was delicious did i say it was delicious um oh i got these at tj maxx actually for next summer they're just these are the impressed nails i wear um yeah so i just grabbed a set tj maxx i found these curad band-aids this is what i've been using to wrap up or the size band-aid i've been using to wrap up my finger i create a tube it's raw under there let me just tell you and um so this helps keep it protected and i was almost out of these so i'm gonna try these if they don't work it's fine but they are curad brand but I like these fabric ones, so we'll see. If it doesn't work, I can always just go buy some more. But I was there and was thinking I needed some batteries, or some batteries. What is wrong with me? Band-Aids. Um, they have these back this year, the Coca-Cola three packs. These are fantastic stocking stuffers. Or if you are having like your grandkids come by on trick or treat or something, or you only need to put a couple trick or treat things together, like, oh, my battery's low. Um, this is great. It's a three pack. You get regular Coke, vanilla Coke, and cherry Coke. And it's just fun. Like this takes me right back to Bonnie Bell when I was in high school, middle school. And I got these last year and I love them. And it's Lip Smacker brand, so they're pretty good. But this goes in my stocking stuffer container um i picked up some salt and pepper cashews because i like that but i'm to christmas ideas i'm gonna get a couple of these and a couple of the pistachios to go in my gift baskets with the cookies and the treats and stuff these are perfect size for that um i got these for a snack for me but i can share i suppose i suppose um i got some of these cotton rounds you know i was looking for cotton balls dollar tree is terrible with the cotton balls but i got the cotton rounds and that works for me just fine and dandy i picked up a pack of these paper mate wright brothers comfort writing ballpoint pens for a reason i purchased for christmas time for a gift that i'm giving somebody um clear post-it notes and that you need not write on gel the gel won't stick dry so I, we needed some of these pens the regular pens so i grab these i'll open up the package and share um and this is black ink yeah it's just a paper paper mate but if you want to write on anything like that slippery fabric or slippery material you you don't want to use gel it won't dry you need to use ballpoint or like a sharpie so i grabbed those because i have a gift um for my little nephew i picked up these haichu which are japanese candies to go in his candy jar i'm i'm gonna have to buy some more candy but i made you a video of how i'm decorating the advent and the gift jar from the dollar tree candy dishes so i'll need i'll need to get a video on that soon um I'm gonna use my Cricut to do that. But these are um, Japanese, they're like a taffy candy, and I'm trying to get my nephew a uh, bunch of different kinds of candy. So this, and everything needs to be pre-wrapped, and these are pre-wrapped. So I grabbed a pack of those to go in his um, container. I'm just getting some of this mess tidied up here, guys. We're a mess over here, right? Now, 
I need to get my legs stretched out. I'm old. Um, kitchen item. I love these. You know that, right? The um, dish rack, dish dryers. I put them under my coffee maker. Keeps it very tidy, and I also can slide it out from underneath the cabinet to fill it with water when I make coffee in the mornings or whenever. And I got a fall one because I love this print. So we're gonna keep that for that. Okay, I found some more crafty bits. Oh wait, I have some more Halloween stuff. I'm dying here, guys. These are from, these are party favors. They're syringes. Can you, okay, picture it. Not Sicily. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Having a Halloween party for adults, putting a serving of liquor in here and then serving a beverage with this floating in it and then they have to squirt the alcohol into their drink. How fun would that be? Um, I grabbed two packages, one for me, one for Sarah. <laughs> Sadly, that's not what I'm using mine for. Um, I always come across a re times that I need some type of a syringe or a dropper when I'm crafting. And so I got these that I can suck up water or whatever. And it just helps keep a mess down. Like if I'm diluting paint or something, it's just easier to have something like this. So I grab those just to keep in my craft closet, but I think those will be super fun for Halloween too. Yeah, so I grabbed, I picked up those. And then for Thanksgiving, I picked up some of these um, skewers. They are calling them just wooden picks. I use them for my charcuterie board. And when I have Thanksgiving dinner, typically I don't eat half of the stuff that everybody else does. So I just make a charcuterie board for myself. And this is fun, roll up turkeys or cheeses, anything that I, I would have. So I grabbed those for that. And then I per picked up this for my plate because I just think that's super fun and I think this year I'm not doing anything for Thanksgiving that I know of um, but e either way around the holidays I just think it's super fun to build myself a little charcuterie it's called a grazing board in these and eat out of them I'm pretty sure they're food safe but it also says not recommended for the dishwasher or the microwave which I would do neither with that. So this is just something fun I like to do. And if, I, if we ever get to entertain again, this is fantastic for any type of buffet or boards or anything like that. I don't know if we're ever gonna be able to entertain again, guys, and I'm kinda getting sad about that. I know. Okay, so I found a few things. Some of this is repeat, but I'll show you anyway. I found some more of the coffee cups because I'm obsessed. I love them and I needed more in my life because these will take us right through Christmas with the whipped cream on top. Yes, it's supposed to be like a pumpkin spice latte, but quite frankly, cup, paint a cup, make some whipped cream, it's delicious. So I grabbed another pack of those just to have. Um, I got the ghosts, not for, to utilize, but I saw somebody on Facebook, on Pinterest, somewhere, they use the witch's hat and the ghost and made gnomes. And I need to make a video on that. So I didn't have any ghosts, but I got some ghosts to do that. But I also thought the maple leaves would be fun for that as well. Hi, sir. Hello, what are we doing? I think Wellington wanted to visit us. I got another pack of these because they're fantastic. I used this one to make a needle minder already for my cross stitch. And then I have the rest. The spiders are fun too. So I grabbed one more of those. I also grabbed a pack of the sugar skulls to make my friends some needle minders. And just for fun, these are great wooden stickers. Um, and I find that these little white things peel off super easy. So I just like to have a variety around. Um, and you probably, if you saw my DIY, this is a skeleton that I used for that. It is a, um, he's movable. So his, he's on rings and he's part of the new collection. And I am obsessed with this guy and I might've just went and bought four more. I want to try to make an Ohio state Buckeye sign with the skeletons doing O H I O. 
and so I bought four to do that. I just need to find a piece of wood big enough because these things are very large. So I might have to figure something out. But I grabbed, irrelevant, I grabbed four more for that. Bye, see ya. Uh, for that, so I have a total of five now. But they come and go pretty quickly. I got them at different stores. I'll answer that question at the end. But I grabbed those. And then I got some more of these. These are fantastic to use as embellishments for any type of decor. This is one continuous strip, but it could be considered like a little crown. I really liked these clear for Christmas decorating and the black ones I used on my Halloween and this orange will totally go with fall. So I just grabbed one more, you know, one of each of these. They went fast at my stores. I took, I have some black, but I was not able to find much else except for these singles. So I have that. And then the last thing I found was some fun new, and I know these are new Halloween stickers. These are very Nevermore to me, like Raven. So you've got your Raven here, a rose, a black cat, trick or treat, and then it says spooktacular at the bottom with some skulls. And then this one has, um, Hocus Pocus, more witch themed. So I thought these were super fun. You can take those tall pillar candles in the glass and stick these to it, not a problem. And then peel them off. But you don't have to have a Cricut or a specialty cutting machine. You can use any kind of sticker, window clings on those, on jars, on any glass container. Save your jelly jars and decorate them with this and put them out at Halloween time as a beaker or something. Hi, Bobs. So that was it for what I found. I thought I found some good stuff. I'm super bummed. There are stores that already have Christmas out and none of mine do. And I went this week. So that I get a question a lot. I go to a Dollar Tree pretty much every day or every other day. It's just not the same Dollar Tree every other day. So in my area, I have three, hi three that I go to on the regular, four now that I found this one in Pataskala, but I only do that one definitely once a week because it's a little bit of a drive. So I have four that I will rotate through during the week. And I find different things at each store. So I'm not finding all this stuff at one store, one trip a week. I am frequenting these stores very regularly because things like I could go in today and pick up one of these and go back and there might were 30 on the shelf and go back tomorrow and they're gone and there's nothing there. I mean, you, like I need, in order to bring these videos to you, I really have to, um, I go to these stores pretty regularly. So that just as a heads up, I'm not lucking out. I mean, sometimes I look out, but for the most part, I'm very intentionally going out every single day or every other day to the Dollar Trees to try to find new stuff to bring you. So don't feel disheartened if you go and your store doesn't have, hi, and your store doesn't have it, just keep going. Eventually you'll find what you're, hopefully you'll find what you're looking for. All right, everybody, my man needs me. And by my man, I mean, I mean my man, my little man. He needs something, I don't know what, probably a treat. That's what, how we roll at this time of night and he wants to go to bed. Can you say good night to our friends? Can you say good night? He said no. He's not talking tonight. All right, everybody. I will talk with you later, and you have a fantastic day. Bye.